Hey fellas, <clears throat> thought I'd, uh, I've been experimenting, thought I'd uh, put out a video on uh, making seat belts for your scale model aircraft. Now I've been, <clears throat> I've been working on my 132nd scale B25 from HK Models and it comes with photo edge seat belts and I hate photo edge seat belts with a passion. They never look right as far as I'm concerned, and uh, uh, they're just hard to bend. They end up breaking. Well, I ended up breaking my uh, photo at seat belts for this for this kit, and I've made seat belts in the past with uh, with tape, and there are a bunch of other methods. You can flatten out uh, lead wire. You can use milliput uh, foil. You know, uh, in the old standby with tape. But uh, what I thought I would do is uh, make a video on something that I've been experimenting with because with, with the tape seat belts, <clears throat> which is what I normally go to, I find that when you paint them and you try to put them on after you paint them, when you go to bend them, the paint cracks off and then you have to touch up and I don't know, they just don't look right. So what I've been experimenting with is ink. <clears throat> I've got these uh, Dr. Martin's India inks. They come in a bunch of different colors. I got this off eBay for like 30 bucks. Uh, it's got a bunch of different colors like sepia. And I've been experimenting with these on different things with models. Uh, here's the smaller, smaller bottles with a little bit different colors. And I thought, well, why don't I try to use the inks with the, uh, to color the seat belts? And I think it turned out really well, and it's very durable. You can bend them, and the ink's not going to fall off. I mean, I haven't manhandled them, but uh, I basically used ink to color these, and it gives it a nice grimy appearance, and the ink doesn't fall off whenever, or the ink didn't fall off when I bent them. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Basically, I've got, I went ahead and did this one first just to see if it would work, and it does, and I'm pretty satisfied with the results. I get a, a lot more natural look than what I did with the photo etch, and uh, the color, I think, turned out really well. So, here's how I did it. Uh, I've got my other set of seat belts here, and what I did was... I cut off the buckles from the photo edge part. If you can see that. And then I took uh, strips of Tamiya tape using my Infini cutting mat. And I laced them through I laced them through the uh, the buckles and taped them onto themselves. You can see that right there. So now I got my uh, my seat belts just like I, I normally would with tape. And uh, I'll show you what else I did. There's, if you can see here, there's, uh, looks like stitching in the, in the seat belt. I'll show you how I did that. Let me set up my camera because I'm going to need two hands for this. Hold on a second. All right. In order to get the stitches on the, uh, the seat belts, I'll take my Rosie the Riveter tool. And this is a uh, 0.55 millimeter. And I go along the along the edges with it. Let's see if I can get in here. Just go right along the edges. And you don't have to press too hard. And just add in those rivets. Do the same for the other side. like so. See if the camera will be able to pick this up or not. Come on, focus camera. Okay, you can kind of see the the stitches in there. Now when I paint it, the I'm going to put two different layers of ink on there. And then uh, when I put the dark layer on, those uh, 
little rivet holes that we made are going to pop out and it's going to look like stitching. Let's do the other ones. And you don't have to do this to both sides. I put the, uh, I start on the side that's going to be facing the front. It's going to, it's going to pop through depending how hard you press. Uh, but you don't have to do both sides. Apologize for my stuffy nose. It's allergy season here in the Midwest. And I don't know a good allergist. There we go. And I'm going to do the same for, for all these. And these are the... These are the... Um, the lap belts here. Then what I do is I stick my my seat belts on a little wood piece here on my uh, stick my seat belts on the popsicle stick. And because Tamiya tape, and I guess you you can use any type of tape that you want, but I like Tamiya because it's uh, you can you can bend it. It's very malleable. It's it's pretty thin. That one's not sticking. So what I'm gonna do? Take another piece of Tamiya tape. All right, so like I said before, the paints that I've used, and I've used, uh, I guess oil paints probably you wouldn't be able to bend it, but it takes forever to dry. These inks dry really fast. So what I'll do is I'll take my, uh, my white India ink, and to kind of dull down that yellow color, I mean, you don't want to totally get rid of it because that gives you a little bit of a tone. And I'll go over it. And this is uh, this is unthinned. I mean, this stuff, India ink's supposed to be pretty thin, but I find that this Dr. Martin stuff is actually pretty thick. Okay. And I'll go over and put a put a coat of white. On the on the seat belts on the tape. Okay. And you don't have to totally white it out, but uh, just get a good coat of white in there to uh, dull down the, uh, the yellow color of the tape. And I use uh, Vallejo airbrush thinner to thin this stuff down. Alcohol doesn't seem to work. Um, but uh, this Vallejo thinner works perfectly to thin it down. And when I airbrush it, I'll sometimes thin it. This will dry pretty quick, but I'm going to hit it with a hair dryer to dry it. Then what I'll do is I will come back and do the same thing to the back side. I'm doing this because I'm going to be bending these to kind of make them look natural like I, like I did here. Um, man, to me that looks pretty natural, but... I'm going to bend these to make them look natural. And I want the bottom sides to be colored as well. OK. 
because some of the bottom will show not 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 all of it but some of it I have to use another piece of tape I cut that one a little too short Tamiya tape is the bomb okay so I'm gonna do the same thing with this one get some white on here yikes You don't have to be too neat with it. If it's a little heavier here and a little thinner there, don't worry about it. It just gives it that natural leather type look to it. All right, now I'm gonna dry this side. Okay, as you can see, that dries really quick. Now what I've done <clears throat> is I mixed some, some sepia. This is the uh, sepia ink with just a little bit of green. And I thinned it out. And I want to use that. Use a little bit of, a little bit more thinner. Okay, so I've got my green and sepia in here, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more thinner because this is kind of drying out. And you want to kind of thin it out because what I found is this is so thick it gets real splotchy, and if I thin it out, it's almost like a like a wash. And that's what I want. I basically want to wash the brown in. And I'm starting on the back side here, so I make sure I got my color correct. Now this is the back side, so the, the rivet holes that we made aren't popping through real well because uh, it's on the protruding, protruding end and not the, the end where we actually made the divots. be completely dry but it's the back side so I'm not too worried about it switch it around now this is going to be the front the part that you're going to mainly see
All right, we're going to do the same thing for, for this side. Doesn't that look pretty? Kind of gives it a natural, worn and dirty leather appearance, or a canvas, canvas appearance. So, and you can use any colors. I was experimenting with different colors, but I found that this is, uh, the sepia and a little bit of green is, is what I was looking for. So, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry by itself, and then we'll come back and, and put them on and see how it looks. All right, they're dry. Let's see if you can see this one. It's got a nice worn appearance. It's a little more patchy than the other one, but I think that's okay. You see, I can I can bend it and turn it and manipulate it, and none of that's cracking because it's ink. See that? I can do all kinds of stuff with it. Yay! All right. Now we'll put it on the plane or on the seats. So I've got, let me find, okay, here's my glue. So what I'm going to do is find out where I want this. Now this one I cut a little short. So I'm going to put this one on first because I'll probably overlap it. Where I want it. Right about there. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm using, I keep my little uh, glue caps here and I, I use them over and over. I just poured some thin, I had some medium vis viscosity CA in it the other day. And it's kind of dried and it's kind of got real sticky. So I just poured some thin in there. <clears throat> okay. That's where I want it. That's going to work out perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Find a good place to put this one. Ah, crapola. Oh, poop. I just have a hard time with this part for some reason. Upside down. Inevitably, I glue my tweezers to my seat belt. There we go. I want that sticking out. Yeah, let me put a little bit of glue back there. I think that'll look okay. 
And I'll go with my second one, find out where I want it. this is all on camera I don't have it set up to where I can see when I'm filming let's get this down I've never been really good at manipulating seat belts which is why I have issues with photo etch belts and I can never get photo etch belts to stick where the crap I'm sure there's a trick to it. I just hadn't figured it out. But I think this is the way I'm going to do mine from now on anyway. It takes a little extra time, but in my opinion, I think it's... The result's better. Okay, have that one down there. That'll look okay. Much better than Photo Etch, in my opinion. Alright, now we're going to do the lap belt. These, I do these just a little bit different. I put the glue on and then, let's see where I got the other one. And I find that it's best just to glue them incrementally. Find out where I want to start it. Now I'll glue the... And you want to kind of avoid getting extra glue. I got a little bit of extra glue right there next to the... Uh, or outside of where the seatbelt is and it's shiny. I can come back with some flat and cover it with a flat clear coat. And you won't be able to notice it, but still it's a pain in the butt. All right, how do I want this one to look? I might have got a little too much glue right there, but we'll deal with it. Okay. Same thing for the other side. And I installed my seats before, which may or may not have been a good idea now that I have to put these seat belts on. But I will work around it. I always like to install everything I can before paint. Just because I glue with the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin and it'll just gloop up the paint and uh, can ruin your paint pretty quick. So I like to, to glue as much as I possibly can before paint. That means I have to work around and so be it. I think we're going to fold this one back over itself, if I can. And I didn't bother painting the photo etch parts. Just because I'm going to leave up that natural metal. Alright. So 
So there you have it. <clears throat> I think it turned out okay. As far as I'm concerned, a lot better than the uh, than the photo etch ones. All right. Looks good to me, fellas. All right, I'll catch you on the next one.